Hi guys, how are you doing? English man here, Roadrunner. I put the camera this facing this direction so we can catch the valley going down. This is Tre Asanti Mjar going down to uh, Jenaina Bay. <laughs> I nearly forgot it then. From Bajima. Bajima is just up here, um, the top end of Mjar. All this area is Mjar, but there's Santi this area is called. It's a lovely road going down. It's a little bit subsiding. So you'll get a weird feeling, even driving the car, because the road's slanting this way and the valley's this way and the road has been blocked off. Anyway, let's go guys. I'm going to drive all the way down to Jenaina Bay. We're going to spend a few hours there. I'm going to do a walk. But this is a road runner to Jenaina from Bajema area through Tre Asante. This is my island in the sun. Okay guys, let's go. This is a, a difficult road, so let's hope no one's coming up the other direction. The road lately, uh, since I've been before, this is a quite a good shortcut from Bijema down to uh, Jenaina Bay, down to the beach. But the road, I've seen it, it's uh, subsiding on the, towards the one into the valley. The valley is very beautiful and uh, ma many agriculture through there. You see a beautiful view on the way. Uh, they put these concrete blocks though. I'm going to go slowly because uh, you never know who's coming around the other corner and plus it's better for you. Uh, there's no rush anyway, nobody behind me. The only hassle that somebody said, Steve, go slower when you're on those roads. I, I can't really because people behind me and Maltese drivers are really impatient. Here they put these concrete blocks, look. The road's just subsiding into the valley. There's the place that they haven't actually done yet and it's not so deep but this one is very deep here look keep your fingers crossed guys nobody's coming up the other way because at the narrow points you have to reverse up then and some of these locals they really bomb along like as if they own the road look at the views guys through the valley this is supposed to be one of the most beautiful roads in uh, Malta but I'm not too sure probably in the winter time it's a bit better we're just going into autumn time, we've had our first rain now, so things are growing a little bit. You can see the valley is still very dry. This is good for agriculture all the way down there. You'll see some views in a minute of the sea. It's weird though, the car is like going slide one way and the valley is going another, really like an optical illusion. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're catching it on the camera. The GoPro is good and uh, stable, but you don't get uh, like a, a good view from way off. There the cliffs are starting over there, look guys. That's going towards uh, Eintofia direction. Beautiful views, but look how dry everywhere is. We're coming through the village of Santi now. Go slow. Some lovely houses here. They're all farmers though, I presume, or they've been bought out. Ooh. The sleep I couldn't understand why Maltese people call that the sleeping policeman. <laughs> no, I think I know. It's slowing you down while sleeping. <laughs> MGR right in front of us, guys. That's the lovely church. I think it was the, the highest dome when it was built in Europe. This is the time for walking. So we can see bright as we turn left now, you'll see the sea. If you haven't seen it already because my mirror is in the way here, but as we turn around the corner, there's a lovely view of the sea. These walls block it off a bit. I don't know, you're, quite, you're a bit higher than me, so probably you're getting a good view of it. We're on our way down to uh, Jenaina Bay. I forget what his name is, the Parker there, the same, he's a pal of Francis. Is he named Joe? I can't remember. Any difficulty in motor guys, if you forget the name, just call them Joe. 
That's what they used to say in the old days. Hey, Joe. My name's not Joe. Oh, uh, short, uh, just to give you a name. Oh, we we're doing, we've been doing all right until now. You can see some of the walls of a uh, little bit of rain we had in there collapsing. These dry walls, no concrete in them, guys, just uh, skillfully put together. MGR right in front of us, what a beautiful church. I'm not sure it's the highest dome in Europe, something like this. I hope you caught the sea on, the, on that side, on the left hand side. As I say, this is all agriculture along here. People are just waiting for a couple, for a bit of rain now and uh, things will be back to normal, things start growing again now. We had that first, I did that, uh, the canal like Venice. <laughs> it's surprising how much rain can fall in one hour. It's crazy. Anyway, we're going up to this uh, junction soon and the wind is blowing, wow. How strong. I hope I'm not, I uh, hope it's blocking it, this. I had some problem with that canal one because the windshield on the road mic fell off and I didn't realize it. First of all, halfway through the video, it was hanging off. So really the whole video, it wasn't blocking the wind. And then I, sometime between halfway through and the end, it dropped off completely. So it's only like a bit of fluff, but I'm sure Rhodes is gonna charge a bomb for it. Really, it's their fault. This is the junction now, the road that goes to the right, MJAR, and to the left, Janina. We'll have to stop here. I'm going to carry on right to Janina. There's a sign pole of Janina Bay. That's a beautiful road as well. I thought I'd keep the video running while I'm going down into Janina. That valley runs all the way down into Janina. Sometimes it's very difficult to park. This is only really locals because not a lot of Maltese. Uh, Sorry, a lot of tourists come down to this. I'm not sure if a bus comes down here. If it comes, it's very, very rare. It comes every couple of hours or something like this. What a beautiful valley though it is, Jadena. There's the valley going all the way down. A lot of, oh, Mr. Goddess, look at the biter on the, on the right, on the left, on the right. All the way down that valley, here's a big clunk of it here. Look at this bite at a shoke. Come and bring your buckets here, guys. They don't charge much anyway, and they peel it and their hands are like full of, full of thorns. They only charge, well, cents to peel it. Many people don't, buy, don't pick it from the countryside now, they just go and buy it from the, these sellers. A lot of people walking around with buckets and they just say, like, peel it and sell it to you like that. Oh, looks like they've been doing some work here on the, on the valley. Not a lot of water comes down here like the old days now. There's something similar to Chadwick Lakes, like, uh, like canal blocks on the way down, but uh, I don't think anything runs down this way. You know what's happened in the over, the, over the years, like construction and things like that, that sort of thing. So here's Janaina Bay anyway, guys. There's toilets here, there's something to eat. There's all the amenities you want and a lovely beach. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed the Roadrunner. It's Englishman and more to say bye. See you soon. Let's see if we can find some shade. How are you doing, my friend? How are you, my friend? All right, sir. I was talking to Francis. Yes. Oh, I don't know if I have any... Oh, I've got something here, I think. How's it been? Thank you. Francis from uh, Witezuri. Yeah, yeah, he said yeah, hello yeah. to my you. My friend, my friend, yes. Chico, oh, Chico, Chico. Chico, I made a video of him uh -huh. on YouTube. Uh -huh. He got quite a bit. Actually, yeah. I went on the boat and we I was talking to him, Chico. Uh -huh. 
And I was talking about you. Yes. Oh, I yeah. Work. Uh, I work here. Just One Englishman from Malta. And I will show you all the signs. So please subscribe to my channel. And give me lots of likes.